More than 7,700 people have died of COVID in long-term care facilities in Ohio since the pandemic began. But where they died, that is still a secret. WCPO sued the Ohio Department of Health for that public information, and we won. But state officials have appealed. Now many facilities are seeing a spike in COVID cases. The Health and Care Center in Highland County has 20 residents, 20 resident COVID cases, I should say. Batavia Nursing Center in Claremont County and Willow Knoll Post Acute and Senior Living in Highland County each have 17 resident COVID cases. Investigative reporter Paula Christian has more. The style and grace that Don showed was impressive. Joy Gazaway lost her 60 year old brother, Donald Gazaway, in April of 2020. He died of COVID-19 three weeks after going into a nursing home for a stroke. I don't want another family to be in the position that we were. The Ohio Department of Health's website only shows long-term care facilities with COVID cases, but it does not say how many residents have died there from COVID. Gazaway says that information would have helped her choose a nursing home for her brother. I feel that it is public information and it will help us to make better decisions. The Ohio Department of Health argues that information is private under state law. But other states such as Michigan, Indiana, Kentucky, Pennsylvania and West Virginia do release that information. WCPO filed a lawsuit against the Ohio Department of Health last August, arguing it did violate public records laws. What is the, the benefit to the public of of the Ohio Department of Health not releasing this information to us. WCPO attorney Darren Ford says the public has a right to know where nursing home COVID deaths occur. A special master and then a judge agreed and sided with WCPO earlier this year. But the state appealed that ruling. Now it is up to the 10th District Court of Appeals in Columbus. Why exactly is the Ohio Department of Health fighting this? The Ohio Department of Health's website does show the number of current COVID cases inside each facility. As of Tuesday, three of the top five facilities with the most COVID cases are in Southwest Ohio. They are Willow Knoll Post Acute and Senior Living in Middletown, Batavia Nursing Care Center in Claremont County, and Hearth and Care Center in Highland County. Only Willow Knoll responded to the I-Team with a statement that says in part, staff and residents are fully vaccinated. And in light of the pandemic, we have enhanced our infection control protocols. Meanwhile, Joy Gazaway hopes that families have more information than she did before making a choice on a nursing home. If you were in a hospital and you and your family member had to select a nursing home or a long-term care facility to continue your care, what, what would you select? Paula Christian, WCPO 9 I-Team.